Hi everyone and welcome back to the useless Mr. Moon show. As you can see we're going to play the autopsy simulator game today. It's quite new and if you're thinking well Mr. Moon why are you not that active today? Um, I'm actually having a cold. I'm having a very sore throat. You will, you will probably see me coughing a lot but I still want to make a beginning of this uh, of this game. We will see how, how long we will start play, or how long we will play this game and we will continue during the week now let's hop in have some fun and here we go i haven't played yet i just bought it i downloaded it and i really want to play it because i have been waiting for this game absolutely waiting my ball and then i oh, went on steam medical examiner Beatsville. dr jack hadman is speaking how can i help you good evening this is kate brooks i'm not sure if you remember hey. me a few weeks ago we talked about an article i'm working on it's about okay. your wife. I dropped by last Friday to speak to you, but you weren't working at the time. <laughs> I asked the security guard to pass on a note for me. I would like us to discuss the topic of... I thought I had made it painfully obvious for the last time. No! Please don't call me again and stop inquiring about my wife. That, that's how I react to shirtless. phone <sighs> companies. God damn it. Oh, I'm not in the best frame of mind to record a lecture for my students now. I'm feeling completely broken. <sighs> this looks phenomenal. Wow. Where did I leave my meds this time? We need to find your meds, right? Okay, check the bathroom for your pills. I think this game's about four hours long, and I think we're just. I think there are six or seven cases. I read a little bit about this game. Because, yeah, I, was, I wasn't at home. I wanted to see what this game was about a little bit. It really strikes my it strikes my uh, interest, and it does. It is not the medicine, Jack Daniels. But that's why I want to play it. We're gonna make a beginning today, as I said before. Yeah, we can we pick that one up? I'm starting to sound like this guy in the in the game, right, with a low voice. All right, so check the bathroom from your. I, okay, we read it already. I'm not really paying that much attention. Bear with me a little bit. I have to get into the day. I slept uh, a lot today. Try to get better. Ooh, that's dark. Darkness, right? So awful. Hell, if we get to finally repair the coffee machine, then do it, man. Just a reminder. I'm seeing you on Friday, D. Who the fuck is D? I guess it was in another life. Pretty woman. Damn it. Hopefully she didn't pass Wednesday. away. Wednesday. It's not Wednesday. my favorite day, although it's certainly better than Monday. Why? Why? Because Monday is Monday and everybody hates Monday? They definitely pay me too little for this. Stephen didn't clean up after himself again. What do you mean, Stephen? Okay, so we close the window and we got the, we earned an achievement. Who needs fresh air? Well, I do, sir. So, let's open it. No, I can't open it. There's nothing that we can... Uh, no, we can nothing that interact with so we're gonna use the last letter we're gonna read this one and we're uh, gonna find our pills hi this k this is kate brooks a reporter for the new orleans weekly it's it's written like a child child's writing there right you didn't find you at home i'm starting to suspect you are avoiding me mr mr Hamon. anyway as you know we like to write an outside commemorating commemorating your wife's achievements. We would be delighted to talk to you about. It. Okay, yeah. Well, we are we are actually avoiding her. It seems right. Along with this note, I'm also leaving my business card. I hope to find you at home or at the office. Regards, Kate Brooks. But why is, it does it really looks like it's written by a child? It won't be needed for the next few months. No. All right. So what we're we gonna do? It, it looks absolutely phenomenal, ladies and gentlemen. How to combine the hands of a Jack surgeon, Handman. All right. a passion for a good mystery, and an exceptionally strong stomach. So for the people that don't know this game, um, it's a, as it said, a topsy simulator. So we're going to cut open bodies, but there's also a story, drift, a story driven campaign next to it, right? You can, I think there's an update soon coming that you can just open the bodies and do that stuff like mortuary assistant. Mortuary system is more focused on the jumps, the, the, the awesome jump scare that that game has. This is way more driven, uh, way more story driven, way more 
uh, about this guy, what's going on. It, it's it's a horror themed uh, game. It's it's really uh, uh, specialized in horror, so I would say uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna this be creeped out. Starting to look like a hoarder's dream rather than a storage room. We're gonna go back later here. We're gonna follow the mission, right? Where the fuck is the bathroom? Is this the bathroom? Jesus! Damn it, son. Do you have a flashlight or something like that? Somebody taking a shit on my toilet. Okay. Time to pull myself together. I didn't sound so echoey. And get back to work. Alright, let's get to back back to work then. So uh, we don't need this door. Let's have the camera first. We've we've already found the camera. It really looks beautiful this game. It's insane, man. I don't see any need to mess with the electrics. They are right. flaky enough as it is. Good. You know where the probably fuse now box remember, is. Remember, Jack. Don't forget to hit the record button this time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're not gonna forget that. Okay. Place it on the tripod in in the dissecting room. I assume that is the dissecting room. It's already saw a little bit through the windows. We close every door. Cause I like that. Because I always think in these games, eventually doors will be opened and stuff like that. Hopefully the new tripod is so going to hold up. we can see it then properly. Oh, dude. I hope I uh, renewed it to you on. <laughs> let, let me actually see. Oh, yeah, it's on. <laughs> okay, otherwise, otherwise I, I can't put this on YouTube. <laughs> cough, please don't cough. That's also why my hair is probably... Uh, Shit today. Now I just have to get everything in frame. Uh, this looks like right about. This should be right. fine. November twentieth, nineteen ninety-one. Time eight forty-three p.m. Nineteen ninety-one. Right. Recording Good. for medical students from the University of Missouri. This autopsy is conducted by Jack Handman. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the autopsy room. Today you will have the dubious pleasure of following a full autopsy step by step. For those of you who have already performed your first autopsy, this will refresh your basic knowledge. In turn, for those whose knowledge is only theoretical, I just... I advise not to watch this after a meal. I know. Me. Alright. We have to follow all this shit, right? Okay. Take a look at the chalkboard, yeah? Are we doing that shit? Okay, we need to pick up the apron. So we're, gonna do, we're gonna follow slowly what we have to do. Emergency eye wash. No, I'm not gonna need an emergency eye wash. I need an apron, right? Apron. It's been a while since the eye wash in this thing was changed. It's probably a health hazard now. Do you mean that chalkboard? That chalkboard or this? Oh, it's definitely this chalkboard. But I'm gonna press on it, as it seems. Let's See? start. Yeah. So it can interact with the story. Tell students what is important in this profession. Not to get sick. Eat the flesh. Do weird stuff with it. Don't be a necrophilia. List? I don't know how you say that. Um. Always wear an apron, mask, and gloves. Goggles are a must when the job is splashy. Yeah, she, and in she. case of sharp accidents, it's worth having disinfectants at hand. It's true that you won't get ptomaine poisoning straight away. But if your liver or kidney aren't doing well, you may end up with diarrhea. Oi. Now we, we, we're, we're gonna disaffect our hands, for sure. The cadaver is placed on its back on the autopsy table. The pathologist stands on the right of the deceased. Make sure that all the necessary tools are always at hand, so that you don't have to run around looking for something, like I do all the time. You, wait, what? The two will on hand? Autopsy table's always on the right side, and we are always on... No, wait, this is not the right side. Depends, actually, from which angle you look, right? Yeah, okay. But we're gonna see. F3. In the process of revealing and securing forensic evidence, it is difficult not to interfere with the original condition of the deceased. Written and photographic documentation plays a vital role throughout the entire examination process. Okay. During your research, be patient, Inquisitive, but above all, attentive to detail. Many entries are visible at first glance, but sometimes they can be cover for more 
interesting stories. And lastly, remember that nothing teaches you self-narration like working with the dead. So get used to that fact soon. Everyone will think you're talking to yourself. I think we got that job done though, right? I, 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 after a year doing this, you start to find self-narration uh, being easy. All right, so what I think actually- Now onto the police folder. That will contain all sorts of pertinent information as to who the deceased might be and what potentially happened to them. So, let's take a closer look, shall we? Yeah, okay. So what I do think is that we're really gonna do some police work. So this is a very lot slower horror game than the Mortree Assistant. Um, but I think this is definitely gonna be a cool game for us. Because I sometimes really like these slow, slow-paced horror games. So that's a, that's a phone or a fax machine, right? Oh, an LFX machine. It's from uh, Pablo, Pablo Sonic. Why can't I? Oh, we're gonna leave it. I can't press on it. It's the naked dude. I don't know why my frame sometimes drops. My on. old but trusted centrifuge. Ideal I'm for the tests I need to perform during an autopsy. Where's the police folder then? Is it? Is it, is it in our office? Who was this? What it is, but why is it there? He's not saying anything about it. Roger. They definitely folder? pay me huh? too little for this. I have no clue where the police folder is, ladies and gentlemen. I would assume it's here. If I uh, think of developer's side, I think it's in that room. It has to be. I can't click on those. All the things are highlighted, but I don't know. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to see you in a sec though. Because uh, for some reason my frames are very low in that room. So, see you in a bit. I think I, uh, I, think I slowly made it better. So we can play. I also immediately found the police report. Here. Okay, look through the information provided in the police folder. I feel like it's also uh, feels similar to, um, in a way, yeah, in a way to what was it called again? Uh, Carmen Stevenson's paranormal PI with the with the notes and all that stuff that you have to bring to patients. I uh, really appreciated and uh, enjoyed that game. What is this? The deceased's name is Tobias Chambers. It's Chambers, Locally okay. Locally known as Old Toby. Homeless and unemployed for at least a couple of years. Okay. The deceased was found on the outskirts of a parking lot at a gas station, where he often begged and persistently offered drivers to wash their car windows. All right. And more pages, right? What? The body okay. was noticed by a station employee during the morning shift. Initially, he thought that someone had thrown some boots and a coat in a nearby ditch. It took him a moment to recognize the pile of clothes as the body of a man. Okay, so we found him at a gas station. He wasn't he very... worked most of his life at the local port dealing with unloaded cargo. He was fired for being drunk and starting fights. Yeah, a his a son runs a hardware here. store on his own. His wife left him years ago. They both had no contact with the deceased. Okay, next one. Signs of libation were found around the body. Empty bottles, traces of an inept attempt to start a fire, and a scattered makeshift blanket. Okay, I'm trying to figure out a little bit what's going on. Right. That's it. Yes. Deceased local man named Toby Chambers, who was homeless and unemployed for at least a couple of years. He had got into fires and had been bullied by the problematic use of the town. He was the type of man who was never kept off alcohol, which caused him blah 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 blah, work in a suburban coal mine. That's important, the coal mine is important. So he probably has um, very weak lungs, or very dark lungs, found on the outskirts of a park and on back to his... Okay, so that, was, that is what has been read to us, right? So we can't do anything else. Down the folder. All right, it's worth remembering the context around the scene of a death. This allows you to better interpret any traces found on the body. I shouldn't start the procedure without gloves. 
No, but I also want to follow the news. Take some pictures for our files. Wearing apron. If I can just remember where I left the camera. Um, I think it's here. Uh, <laughs> there you are. I knew it was here somewhere. It's the medicine camera, ladies and gentlemen. Gonna be a problem. I really want to pl replay that game. That's an absolutely fantastic horror game. As I mentioned at the beginning, before we begin the internal examination, we need to document the cadaver and the condition it arrived in. We begin with a full body photo. Try and stick to the top down rule, but this is not always possible. Let's keep in mind it's all about the legibility, not the perfect frame. Take general photo of the deceased. Um, right. He has wounds on his legs, so we're gonna take photos of his legs, right? It can't be take a picture. You really have just to be in the perfect spot for the shit. I wanna just take a couple of pictures and not, don't be hard about it, right? Why why does this need to be so hard? I'm not gonna take a photo of his uh, you know. I'm gonna do it from here then, okay. No. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There it is. Voila. Now we move on to the next step. Looking for traces. Take your time. Looking for traces. Look at the corpse from different sides, <laughs> from different angles, up close, and from a distance. You're looking for anything out of the ordinary. Um, absolutely disgusting toenails, like his feet and signs of frostbite. Probably because the subject's shoes were too small. How does it does it have to do with frostbite, right? Let's see, let me see. Uh, there's a cut on his uh, ribs. Take a picture of that. Can we take? Can we zoom in? Boiler healed wound. Looks old. I'll take a closer look later. Indeed, it looks old. I think it's uh, maybe from his youth or something like that. Years old or something like that. Um, something out of the ordinary. Can we find something? Can we take, put the camera away? We cannot put the camera away. That's that's shitty. And we're not gonna uh, take a photo. Ding a li dong dong. There's something on his hand. Go go go. Hardened hands, picture. worn out by physical work and frostbite. Yeah, frostbite, so... What happened to this guy? I wonder if it's about murder. So this looks like he really hit his head, right? Or... Or... But he hit his head. That's something interesting. It yes, will be necessary to check whether this injury was severe enough to cause damage to the brain. Can we cut open his head, please? Wouldn't that be fantastic? In a moment... We will check which of our initial observations will be worthy of further consideration. But before we get to that, I need to write down some basic data. Right. I hope this, this game is not going to hold my hand the whole time. I, I, I would like to walk around and do my own stuff, you know what I mean? But maybe that's in the new update that's upcoming. Yeah. What's that? It's homeless, it says, right? Okay. Add picture. Oh, sorry, sorry, I shouldn't uh, press escape. Feet. Stomach. Old wound. Feet is frostbite. Head. Well, had a wound on it. Hand also was like suffering from frostbite, as he said. And then the general picture. What is the question mark here? Perform the autopsy. We will. We will. Um, can we immediately start with the head because it is uh, suspicious, so to say. Sorry for my voice, ladies and gentlemen, that it's so low, but I know it's a little bit on purpose as well, because then I can talk normally. Poor soul. I get cases like this more than any other. Perform the autopsy, alright. Go the autopsy. Um, we need to take a table with us and always put it on the right. Right? So yeah. Scalpel, scissors, this is syringe, syringe, magnifying glass, knife. Mm. I guess I forgot to clean the knife. How, how? How do you see that? Oh, disgusting. Scalpel. Scissors. Mm. So I can't use the knife then. Personal information. Oh. The deceased was unclothed. Date. Okay. 
As you can see, All right. I note everything down on previously prepared forms. Every pathologist must keep a detailed record of every step of the autopsy. This not okay. only allows you to track the procedure, but also collates the results together, upon which you may back up your conclusions. So, okay. enough of the boring prep. Let's begin by taking a closer look at the spots I photographed earlier. For this, you're going to need a magnifying glass. Alright, so, this is how it starts. I actually want to read the whole note, so I'm gonna do that. Oh. Shift, shift, okay. So it's Tobias Chambers, date of time examination is November 12, 1991, uh, in the evening. He's just 76 kilogram, I don't doubt that. Um, he's 62 years old, he's a male, he's white, you can see that. Uh, problem, probably time of death is the 17th of November. Oh, so examination is today, uh, in the game. And 20th of November is the death, so between the evening. Between 10 or 12. Um, this is gonna be so freaking cool. We're gonna find out the story of this guy in this episode. And I think, I think that would be the great end then for, um, for tomorrow. So we can continue with another episode. Uh, I feel probably also a little bit better. I already feel like I'm slowing down a little bit. Alright. We're gonna put the clipboard away. We're gonna grab our tools. I have to pay attention a little bit of what I have to do. Um, he said about magnify, right? Which spot first? Um, the head. Because, wait, thing is, I, I, which spot first? We're gonna probably do everything, um, because, well, this is not really important, but the frostbite part. And the, 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 I think this is from falling, but this has something to do that he already was, like, uh, being laying down in a freezer or something like that, right? You watch the movie, The House that Jack Built. If you didn't do that, you should watch it. It's a very sick movie, but... I can confirm the presence of ecchymosis on the deceased man's head. The appearance indicates the intravital nature of the wound. Add alcohol, which I can clearly smell. And this was an accident just waiting to happen. Okay, so this was next. This is shit, shit. So I think then it's frostbite. It part, looks right? like a burn mark. No doubt painful. But it's not pertinent for this case. No. We already uh, established that, of course. It's about the foot. Here we can see frostbite on the, finger. on the fingertips. We can tell yeah. by the characteristic skin color. Yeah, but why is frostbite? How cold is it in that place? I don't know. Come to look at his. Uh, <laughs> uh uh. I don't say that word. Um. We. Oh, we can walk actually. Okay, sorry. Definitely a painful mix of frostbite. Abrasions and blisters. Old Toby had been wearing shoes too small for him for a very long time. That's if he wore any at all. Okay. So far, there are a lot of superficial wounds, but only one serious injury to the head. Let's go back okay. to our notes. All right. So we're gonna grab the clipboard, right? I like the previous found wounds on the clipboard. First, I okay. marked the location of the injuries. We're not in frost. The head wound. Definitely an important clue. This is something we'll investigate first. Oh, so we are going to investigate it because I thought it was now just like an accident, but I, I don't feel like it was an accident though. Advanced frostbite on the fingertips, strong skin, uh, discoloration. Oh, this is really good for my English though. Right, because you all know I'm not a native for it. How do you say that? Even though this type of wound I wasn't didn't born contribute with to English as my death, we're still required to record it. Uh, mother tongue? Old poorly healed wound, burned, burn or other injury. So that that one is not really really if important. Body um, was cold for a long chambers. period. The frostbite could have resulted, considering the conditions in which he slept, his body may have become hypothermic. Wait, what did he say? Like the way he slept? So okay, so he was probably then still alive. Possibly death causes. Yeah. The nights have been particularly nasty lately. We will check if there are any signs of freezing internally. No, I don't think so. I think I think it had to do he he hit his head or somebody hit his head because he were angry because he was drinking or probably uh, he had a, probably a bad uh, drink or bad bad drunk. And uh, somebody hit him on his head, let him die. Like thought he wasn't going to die, but then he died of cold. Right? How you say it in English? Hyperthermic. 
So I would say, um, yes. Various types of accidents are a common cause of death among the homeless and the elderly. Perhaps old Toby slipped and accidentally hit his head. That's a good idea, though. This is of no interest to us. No, I Since know. The deceased clearly smelled of alcohol. I'll add alcohol poisoning to our list. But we have to. Okay, we have to press everything. Why can't we press this one? Pants frostbite at the fingertips. Yeah, I know. Put down the clipboard and continue the autopsy. So this, these are the causes. Okay, possibly death, death cause. Okay, so now we can put them down. I don't know why we can't do this though. We and still have one thing down. left from the basics. Rigor mortis. I just understood rigor mortis, but okay. Rigor mortis. What is rigor mortis? Rigor mortis. Sounds like a... Of a demon called rigor mortis. Right. Perform a rigor mortis exam. How do I do that? It's a rigor <laughs> Well, we take our deceased by the hand. Thank you for explaining. Huh? Gradually we raise it. Huh? Okay. 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 Don't show me his. Ooh. And now, and now, and now, and now. What are, what are we doing? Now let it go. As you can see. The hand falls loose. What's the conclusion? Death must have occurred more than 72 hours ago. The police information appears correct. Okay, so, okay. Is that how they really do it? Because I do know, I do know, uh, as I said, that real doctors, real morticians worked with the developers uh, with information of how they are doing this stuff. So it's quite real in, in, in a sense. I think these things are really real though, so that's that makes this game absolutely fantastic already. So police data is correct. It's 72 years old. Let's put the clipboard away. That trauma seems the most promising, so we'll start there. For this, I oh, need an yeah. saw. Select the skull and saw and open the cranium. Oh fuck yeah, let's go. I like that. I like big boops and again I uh, Wow, can we just sing? I like to cut. Oh, pets open and I cannot lie. Well, I should lie. I don't know. Um, saw. That's what we need. The cat yeah. is made from ear to ear. Ah, oh, jeez. Are we seriously doing this? Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, I hope my mother's not seeing this shit. Oh my. Oh, she's not. Well, it's impossible, so let's say I hope my father is in there. <laughs> Shit. The and the top of the skull. Oh, this is combination. This is so, I probably should give a warning <laughs> beforehand. <laughs> Begin a thorough brain analysis by examining the organ. Right, take the brain out. Oh, this is basic examination. We can see that the brain's cerebral gyri in both hemispheres are symmetric. The brain looks good. Let's take a cross section. This this looks like something something totally different. And if you understand, you understand. If you don't, you don't. <laughs> All right. So what can we do with it? I want to do something with it. We smack it against the wall and see it explode. In true with thoughts, I'm sorry. Can we put in a firework? Not an intrusive thoughts. I'm sorry. Right. Some pathologists prefer to examine organs without removing them. However, for me, it's much more convenient to examine them on a board, which we'll do now. Leave the body. Dissect the brain at the cutting board. Ooh, yeah, like like a piece of good meat, right? Are we gonna prepare for dinner? I'm saying like, right? I'm Holding not saying this is gonna be my meat. You get a little mind. We slowly cut the cranial nerves on both sides. All the time, pulling the brain towards us. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what he meant, but sure. Hmm. Oh, 
that's cool. I have to do this with my mouse, ladies and gentlemen. See that right little ball there? That's me music. So far, so good. It looks like slicing bread, right? No effect on the brain. Okay, so you have to. Okay, it's not that hard, but it's cool. It's a very cool feature. Awesome. Turn to the autopsy. We're gonna do that. So there was no things going on with his brain. Clear grooves, grooves, grooves. What does that mean? What does that mean? The cerebral gyri, gyri in both hemispheres are symmetrical, symmetrical with clear grooves. This in uh, probably in New Orleans. Okay. Okay. Exclude fall as potential cause of death. Rain is in good condition. So we have no choice so but to proceed to the internal examination of the other organs. Awesome, let's go. I grab let's a go. scalpel from my kit. Like the scalpel and begin the cutting. Hmm. No pole, there's the scalpel. incision should be in the shape awesome. of a letter let's go. Y. We use a deep cut to reach all the way to the ribs and to penetrate the abdominal wall. Oh my god, it's bloody fantastic. Don't cut his uh, PP. Thinking he can still feel it in hell or in heaven, so we're not gonna do that though. This is fantastic, I love it. I can do this. I really All find right. it disgusting, don't get me now wrong, we but it's back awesome. And separate the skin. With an empty head, peel back this. Okay. Um, I just X. Uh, that where is my empty hand oh, oh my mm. <laughs> mm. why can't I do anything with it no isn't this cut uh, properly? What is it? Cut it open, man. Oh, okay. Why? I don't get this. We c why can't we just... Prefer maybe first this one, then. Okay, so we cannot open the uh, the lower side. It has to be done like this. No, <laughs> no, why do, why does it work now? Ribs. I don't get we'll that. Need the for this. Jack the Ripper cut up the first body. That's our achievement. I don't know why we're supposed to be Jack Ripper now. This is our job. Jack Ripper wasn't a, his job. Killing all those women. Select the lopers and remove the ribs. Loppers? Loppers. I think loppers, not lopers. Select the loper or lopers. Those are intestines. What are lopers? Oh my god. Select the loppers and remove the ribs. I'm I'm trying, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know where I have to grab. So I'm gonna try a little bit there. Just this loppers. I don't know what loppers is. It is not highlighted though, so that's a little bit shitty. Remove the ribs. Oh, wait. Lop of course, it's an equipment. Damn it, Mr. Moons. That's stupid. Quite a satisfying crunch. For oh, anyone. why would you say After that? Removing you the cartilage tissue, we instantly notice two things. Firstly, there is no congestion of the internal organs. This means that although the deceased was hypothermic, it didn't kill him. Secondly, the deceased smoked like a chimney. No, so dude. He worked in a coal a mine. Look at those lungs. We already said that, right? As soon as we read coal mine, I said he probably has very brown lungs. He probably also smoked, but that's not what I'm saying. But I think that's mostly part of the effect of working in a coal mine. 
All right, begin a thorough long analysis by examining the organs. We can see widespread black and tarry deposits caused by smoking cigarettes. Despite the tragic condition of the lungs, they are not the cause, the cause of, of death. death. Alice smoked too. It didn't kill her, but... <clears throat> uh, what was I talking about? L lungs. Y yes. Advanced inflammation. I want to see that too, man. I want to learn from this game. Oh, okay. So, oh, that's how it works. So this is the main. This was the brain. Brain is in good condition. Well, now we're gonna focus on the lungs, right? Um. That marked the damage to the lung on the clipboard. Oh, oh okay. We're gonna just do it like this. Damn it! I didn't see it though on the lungs. I'm not a mortician. Lungs with extensive black gray deposit, visibly inflammatory change and excessive distension of lung tissue caused by cigarette smoking. I I doubt this though. I'm sorry. Okay, I don't doubt this fact actually because the doctors worked with it or the mortician worked with the game. I think they made a little bit mistake of putting the coal mine in there, right? But I think I think that really has an impact on your lungs for sure. This looks like, man, he's not really following the rules, so he probably didn't use a mask or something like that, right? Yeah, everything is still done correctly, so can yeah, keep going. Lungs with advanced inflammation not related to the death of the deceased. It's a bit slow, I know. Uh, oh. What now? Like the syringe. Specifically, three. From the eye, the heart, and the bladder. I'm interested to see the concentration of alcohol in the body. Let's start with the humor analysis is very useful in indicating long-term alcohol abuse. Five milliliters from the left ventricle should do it. Is there still blood after 72 hours? Is it not bladder, clogged or something like that? 10 milliliters of fluid. Now we take our samples to the centrifuge. But before I do that, I need to find my notebook. My dyscalculia okay. means that I always double check the settings. I've retrieved the notebook from the office with the necessary values to Centrifuge. Sure. Please because he fucks it up all the time because of his disease. Uh, I will be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Keep me following. He's an in interesting job. So, students, listen carefully. This is amazing. And you're probably thinking I was talking to you. Nope, I'm not. Well, actually, the whole game I am. But moment, I. My students. And now you are my students too. Wait, I closed all the doors, right? Didn't I close this one? This is what I love. I thought I I thought I closed, but it's, it's possible that I left that one open. This one for sure. Close this one. Such a cool room. This whole thing is covered in stains. I should check this out under the microscope sometime. Okay, now we for sure closed every, every door. I still wonder, I still wonder for sure. Um, Let's get back what to what the I say? I forgot what I want to say. Oh, I still wonder what the horror part of this game is. This is disgusting, of course, this horror fight. Don't get me wrong, but Expect a little bit of uh, weird going on, you know, like a little bit of paranormal stuff. We put all of the samples into the rotor. Place the samples, samples into the centrifuge rotor. That's just what he said. I know, but I write, like to rewrite it or reread it, not rewrite it. Yep, bam, bam. Yo. Yeah. Now we set the appropriate time and speed. Set the correct values for both tiles and start mixing. Can we can we see the notes? Yes, we can see the notes. Okay. Pressure uh, presence of alcohol in the blood. Fine. Fifty minutes. Speed seventy percent. At five minutes. BHC blood alcohol content concentration increase when a person drinks fast and the liver can break down the alcohol. Test to measure chronic alcohol use of relapse after period of sobriety. Way too hard English for me. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna see the other page. No, don't read it for me. 
Whoa, that's so much. Uh, press diet those. Um, I think it's for all a little bit later. Because we were focusing on the alcohol, right? So we're going to press the alcohol. We're going to do this. We're going to 50 minutes time, 70% speed. That's 20, that's 50. What are we gonna do? E. Okay. Let's what, roll. what happens if you fuck it up? Oh no, we cannot fuck it up. I can see that. Alright, so we can't do it. So now we're gonna start centrifuge. Alright. We'll be back in 50 minutes. Oh shit. The fuses again. Oh shit. Oh. <gasps> Where were we? Oh yes, the blood. No, 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 no. We're not gonna just ignore that fact, though. That was a jump scare, like no, not a jump scare, but a, um, a silent but deadly scare, like mortuary system, right? There was someone standing here. I saw him. I absolutely saw him stand, or someone standing there. Where did you go? That is cool, and I was wondering. Like, Ladies and gentlemen, I hope something weird is going to happen because, you know, it's horrifying that we're cutting open dead body, but we want to see something weird. And now, 50 minutes later in game, it happened. That was pretty cool, man. So when the fuses do something, we might be a little bit in trouble. So we're now going to continue the job, right? We're going to collect the samples. Let's see what we've got here. Um, oh, sorry. Everything separated as it should. Our lab is closed until tomorrow after the last... Uh, incident. However, considering that Toby's favorite eau de parfum appears to be ethanol, I'm guessing the results won't surprise me at all. Okay, cool, okay. That's cool. Looks very Let's disgusting, that's cool. We will now focus on the cardiovascular system, specifically the heart. That was creepy, man. Okay, return to the autopsy table. And examine it closely. The gurney. Get a thorough heart analysis by examining the organ. There we you look go. for dark hypoxic areas, clots, or other elements that stand out as abnormal. At first glance, the heart looks fine. The pulmonary trunk and aorta seem to be in good condition. There are no pathological changes that would have contributed to Toby's death. Healthy heart, okay. Now let's take a closer look at the stomach. Can I throw a stomach? Oh, I wonder how he died. I hope it wasn't an accident. We can throw a stomach, okay. Size is normal. Analyst Healthy. of the stomach. Pick color. A little bit yellowish, right? Wait, is this the stomach? Yeah, it is. Right. And as expected, the yeah. stomach has no major external damage. We must now cut it open and inspect inside. Awesome. Yes, yes. And we'll do it carefully so that its contents do not spill out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. As I just told you guys, my students and you, we need to use some gloves, uh, glasses. But we're probably wearing them already because we, we can't grab them anywhere. All right, let's cut we open. open the stomach along the greater curvature, from the heart to the pyloric end. Oh, I already feel like there's something left inside. Oh, what is it? It's kind of hard though, but it's fun. It's, it's a little bit slow, so I have to make very, very big uh, hand movements, as you can see. I hope you can see it. I'm like literally doing this as a move. Are you? So I'd like to make the one okay. move large ooh, amount of gas, ooh. small amounts of yellow grayish food content resembling some kind of meat. Either our deceased had eaten awesome. in days, or the bulk of his stomach had already found a way out. Looks like I'll have to find the missing contents. Okay, return to the autopsy table or the gurney, as I said. It's that, that's a good detail. I like that. That's really cool. Uh, there are two ways here. One is obvious. 
<clears throat> and the other is... It couldn't have been suffocation, could it? I'll add this to the list and move on to the deceased's neck. What is asphyxiation? What does that mean? Because the guns of the stomach indicate interrupted digestion. So something want to get out? Or someone wants something out? I don't know. Vomiting? Question mark? Yeah. Uh, begin a thorough take analysis by examining the organ. At first glance, yeah. the trachea looks normal. Yeah, trachea, okay. I'm, I'm really learning from the... Ooh, it looks like an insect from... Same uh, result as with the stomach. The <laughs> external inspection doesn't tell you anything. Like this time, we'll cut on a tray. I'm sorry, it's, it's what I mean. I'm, the cough is really bad. Okay. No external damage, further inspection required. Oh my... Oh, chest burns. Uh... Further inspection required. While cutting such a small organ as the trachea, we must make a precise incision. To be able to cut with the very tip of the blade, we must hold the scalpel as we would a pen. Awesome. And after careful examination and deduction, we've got it. A clogged trachea. It's time to summarize the whole thing. Into the autopsy. Okay, what, what's going on? So, somebody hit his tr trachea and he died because of Based it? Based on the report and preliminary documentation, it's safe to assume that the deceased passed out after consumption of alcohol and then fell asleep on his back. Oh, shit. Then, the gastric contents refluxed and flooded the airways, causing death. So he died because he was laying on his back and, 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 and couldn't get his vomit out. And that's how he uh, suffocated. So I've go with asphyxiation. That's why we forget about the recovery position at dorm parties. Right? Beside the appropriate manner of that. Choking. Thank you. The deceased probably fell asleep or fainted after drinking a large amount of alcohol. Its concentration pressed signals in the brain that control the gag reflex, leading to choking. Is the modes. Manner of death. Not a natural death. It's definitely an accident. Is he? Uh, and no now it's all clear. The death was suffocation. Oh, may oh, I please do signature. this? <sighs> the mystery is solved. But for us, this is not the end. First, Mr. Moves. the dead body needs to be cleaned up. All right. That is cool. That was definitely a cool beginning of the game. <laughs> we all love Mr. Moon. What is it? Yeah, I did that, right? Alright. Hello. Okay. Slip For this, away? we will need to close the body and grab the needle. First, we unroll the skin flaps. But oh, it's called skin flaps, alright. Close it. Ta da. And we opened and it. We sew the deceased back up. Right. I need I'm it. using the need. baseball stitch technique. This stitching method is very strong and quick to do. Baseball technique. Oh, this is cool, man. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Buddy. All right. Now we say goodbye to the deceased and put them safely in the fridge, ready for the next stage of their journey. Can we put something back on? Place the body in the fridge and close it. Are you kidding me? Was that the door? Or was that the, the refrigerator door? I'm 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 getting a little bit scared though. That Thing that we just saw is popping up a little bit more than uh, it should be. Oh boy. God, I'm tired. <sighs> I'll drop these samples off at the lab on the way to the bar. Right to your car in the parking lot. Why would you go to the bar, man? Got a job to do. I don't trust this. 
this room anymore. Look, Uncle Stephen, I don't feel like trekking along today. Okay, that was a good introduction to the game. Absolutely, absolutely fantastic. What's this supposed to be? Somebody moving? Oh, we can walk! Okay. <gasps> but something was happening. Don't please. Don't be our wife. Come on. Guy already has his demons. Yeah, that sound actually scared me. That really gave me like... Huh? Oh, damn it, are these his nightmares? Great, great opening for the game. Great first mission. Alright. Let me see what's happening now. Do we have something outside of this this place, or is it chapter one? All right, I think I think we're gonna see tomorrow with chapter one. I think it was a great Forgive night. Me. <laughs> yeah, see, it was nightmare. So after this, I'm gonna explain. What? What? This, this is chapter one, ladies and gentlemen, and I think is a great end to stop today. We now have a little bit of an introduction of what we're supposed to do. So tomorrow evening, um, of course, we're going to play the whole chapter one, and then we will see how many chapters there are. So we, it depends on how many episodes we will do. Um, but now we know a little bit what the game is about, what it can show us. It The, the, the mechanics and the, the features in the game of opening the body, cutting, I really enjoy it. It's a, it's a very creepy vibe in that room. It's it's very well made. It looks very fantastic. Um, but what triggered me is that soon as I said we want something weird, something paranormal, right? And we the light flickering and then it turned around and then that lady was standing there, right? That was great. I really enjoyed that. So that's what for me triggering right now to, to start tomorrow my day with a topsy simulator. But for now, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this uh, intro of this game. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know in the comments, of course. But for now, you have to wait a day before the next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the big support for all the love. And I'll see you tomorrow evening. Bye-bye.